Imagine this for a moment. Soil so fertile it never wears out. Year after year, season after season, it grows food without chemical fertilizers, without endless amendments, and without losing its richness. Sounds impossible, doesn't it? Almost like something from a gardener's dream. But here's the twist. This soil is real. And it wasn't discovered by modern scientists in white lab coats. It was invented by indigenous farmers in the Amazon more than 2,000 years ago. Today, researchers call it terra preta, Amazonian black earth. And even after centuries of floods, storms, and farming, patches of this mysterious soil remain so fertile that crops practically leap out of the ground. It may just be one of the greatest agricultural secrets in history. And the best part? You don't have to live in the rainforest to benefit from it. You can recreate this ancient trick right in your own backyard. Section 1. The Problem with Tropical Soils To understand why Terra Preta is so extraordinary, we need to step back and look at the Amazon itself. From the outside, it appears like paradise. Endless green, trees towering over rivers, a jungle bursting with life. But beneath that lush surface lies a surprising truth. The soil of the Amazon is actually weak, acidic, and nutrient-poor. Farmers who tried slash-and-burn agriculture quickly discovered the problem. At first, crops sprouted beautifully. But after only one or two harvests, the soil collapsed into infertility. Nothing would grow. Families were forced to move on, clearing new land, leaving behind a trail of barren earth. And yet, scattered like hidden treasures across the basin, archaeologists began to uncover something baffling. Islands of deep, black, crumbly soil. Unlike the surrounding red clay, these dark patches stayed productive year after year, sometimes century after century. Farmers could return to the same plot again and again, harvest after harvest, and the soil never seemed to give out. It was as if the earth itself had been reborn. So, what happened here? How did the people of the Amazon turn some of the poorest soil on earth into one of the most fertile? Section 2. The Discovery of Terra Preta Those mysterious black patches of soil scattered across the Amazon, they weren't accidents of nature. They were engineered. Centuries before modern science, the indigenous people of the Amazon had unlocked one of the most remarkable secrets in agriculture. The power to transform poor, lifeless ground into an agricultural treasure. Their method? Both simple and brilliant. They began with charcoal, not ash that washes away in the rain, but slow-burned charcoal, filled with tiny pores that hold on to nutrients like a sponge. Into this, they layered the everyday byproducts of life. Food scraps, animal bones, fish remains, crop residues, even broken pottery, the shards of daily living, were tossed in. At first glance, it might seem like garbage, but together these ingredients created a recipe for living soil. Slowly, season after season, those mixtures turned into a dark, rich earth, unlike anything around it. And what they created was not just fertile soil, it was living soil alive with bacteria, fungi, and countless microscopic allies working together in an endless cycle of fertility. And here's the part that leaves scientists speechless. These soils are still fertile today. More than 2,000 years later, Terra Preta remains rich, crumbly, and productive. Modern researchers digging into it find microbial life still thriving, nutrients still cycling, and crops still growing without fertilizers. The ancient gardeners of the Amazon didn't just feed their crops, they built a self-sustaining ecosystem that endures through time. Section 3. The Science Behind the Magic So what exactly makes terra preta so different from ordinary compost or mulch? The answer lies in something called biochar, a form of charcoal created by burning organic matter at low temperatures, in conditions with very little oxygen. Unlike ash, which disappears quickly in the rain, Biochar has a unique structure filled with microscopic pores. Think of it as a sponge. These tiny cavities hold on to water, capture nutrients, and offer billions of little shelters for microbes to call home. When the ancient Amazonians combined this biochar with food scraps, fish bones, and crop residues, something extraordinary happened. The charcoal locked those nutrients in place, preventing them from washing away. Meanwhile, microbes began to colonize the pores Fungi built connections to plant roots, and slowly, a permanent soil ecosystem took shape. Modern science has confirmed just how powerful this is. Biochar does not decompose the way compost or manure eventually does. It can remain in the soil for hundreds, even thousands of years. 
Microbes that settle inside its pores are protected from predators, which means they survive longer, reproduce faster, and keep working harder to nourish the soil. Over time, this partnership creates a self-renewing cycle. Organic matter is broken down, nutrients are released, plants are fed, and microbes multiply. Each generation fuels the next, making the soil richer instead of poorer. And here's the astonishing part. Some researchers believe that Terra Preta doesn't just stay where it was created, it actually spreads. Slowly, it converts surrounding poor soils into fertile ground, almost as if the soil itself is alive and healing its neighbors. It is, in many ways, soil designed for endurance. A system so resilient that it continues to work long after the people who created it are gone. Section 4. Lessons for Modern Gardeners so what can we, as modern gardeners, take away from this ancient wisdom? The first lesson is that true fertility comes not from feeding plants directly, but from feeding the soil life that supports them. When microbes thrive, plants flourish naturally. Instead of pouring in quick-release fertilizers that vanish after a season, we can focus on building strong microbial communities that keep our gardens alive year after year. The second lesson is about permanence. Compost eventually breaks down, mulch disappears, but biochar remains. It becomes like the skeleton of the soil, an enduring structure that holds nutrients, water, and microbial life for centuries. Adding biochar is not just a short-term boost. It's an investment in the long-term health of your garden. And finally, the third lesson is that nothing should ever go to waste. The ancient Amazonians recycled everything. Food scraps, shells, crop residues, even broken pottery. What might have been garbage became the foundation of soil fertility. For us, that means every apple core, every pile of fall leaves, and every kitchen scrap is not trash, but a treasure waiting to be returned to the earth. When we shift our mindset from throwing away to building up, we stop depleting the ground beneath our feet and start enriching it. This is how gardening moves from being seasonal and fragile to becoming resilient and regenerative. Just as it was in the Amazon centuries ago. Section 5. How to Make Modern Terra Preta So let's get practical. The question now is, how can we bring this ancient recipe into our own gardens today? The good news is that the process is simple, and you don't need expensive equipment to do it. One of the easiest ways is to start with compost and biochar together. Begin by crushing charcoal into small pieces, making sure it's porous enough for microbes to enter. Then, mix it with compost, manure, or even your kitchen scraps using roughly one part charcoal to four parts organic matter. Leave this blend to rest for a few weeks so the microbes have time to colonize the biochar. When you finally add it into your raised beds or garden rows, you'll be spreading not just compost, but a living, microbe-rich soil builder. Another method is to create what some gardeners call a biochar tea. Add a couple of pounds of biochar into a few gallons of water and stir in compost or worm castings. Let this mixture steep for about a week, giving it a stir each day. Over that time, the water becomes alive with microbial activity and the biochar itself becomes inoculated. When you dilute it further and pour it around your plants, you're introducing a solution that carries both nutrients and beneficial organisms straight into the soil. And if you prefer an even simpler approach, you can layer biochar directly into the soil itself. Just spread the crushed pieces across your garden beds then cover them with organic matter, things like grass clippings, shredded leaves, or manure. Over the following months, nature will do the rest. Microbes will move in, fungi will connect, and the biochar will become a permanent home for life underground. What makes these methods so appealing is how accessible they are. A compost bin, a shovel, and maybe a bag of lump charcoal from the local hardware store are all you need to begin. Step by step, season by season, you'll notice your soil becoming richer, darker, and more alive, just like the black earth of the Amazon. Section six, benefits for senior gardeners. For older adults, this ancient method holds a special kind of value. Gardening can bring so much joy, but it can also become physically demanding as the years go by. That's where biochar makes a difference. Unlike fertilizers that need to be reapplied again and again, biochar is remarkably low maintenance. Once you've added it to the soil, it doesn't vanish after a season. It keeps working quietly beneath the surface, year after year. 
That means less lifting of heavy bags, fewer trips to the garden store, and less bending down to spread amendments. There's another hidden advantage. Biochar improves water retention, helping the soil hold on to moisture. In the heat of summer, when hauling hoses or carrying watering cans can feel overwhelming, your soil will stay damp longer. Your plants will thrive, even on days when you don't have the energy to water as often. In the end, this isn't about working harder in the garden. It's about working smarter. With a little preparation, you can enjoy healthier soil, stronger plants, and the simple pleasure of gardening without the extra strain on your body. Section 7. Global Impact and Call to Action The story of Terra Preta doesn't end in the Amazon, and it doesn't stop at the edge of your backyard. Beyond our gardens, this ancient practice carries a promise for the entire planet. Today, scientists are exploring biochar not only as a way to enrich soil, but also as a powerful tool to capture carbon, reduce the need for chemical fertilizers, and restore farmland that has been exhausted. Across Africa, India, and even right here in the United States, communities are experimenting with biochar to grow food more sustainably, to bring life back to depleted soils, and to fight against the growing challenges of climate change. Each handful of biochar added to the ground is more than a gardening choice. It is a small step in a global movement of regeneration. And this is where you come in. When you mix biochar into your compost pile, when you brew a simple biochar tea, or when you sprinkle it into your raised beds, you're not just feeding your tomatoes or your roses. You are joining countless gardeners and farmers around the world who are working with nature instead of against it, building soils that will last for generations. So here is my challenge to you. Don't let this ancient secret stay buried in history. Try it for yourself. Add a little biochar to your garden and then watch. Watch how the soil grows darker, how it holds water longer, how your plants respond with deeper greens, stronger stems, and richer harvests. Because the real magic isn't just that Terra Preta exists in faraway jungles. The true secret is that you have the power to create your own right where you are. And every handful you add brings you closer to the kind of living soil that doesn't just survive a season, but thrives for centuries. The lesson of Amazonian Black Earth is simple but profound. Healthy soil is not built in a single season. It is built to last for generations. The ancient farmers of the Amazon understood this truth. With nothing more than charcoal, scraps, and patience, they created soils that still nourish life more than 2,000 years later. Their legacy is a living reminder that when we work with nature, our efforts can outlast us. And today, right in your own backyard, you can carry that same wisdom forward. Every kitchen scrap, every pile of pruned branches, every handful of biochar holds the power to transform waste into fertility. With time, your garden can grow richer instead of poorer, more abundant instead of exhausted. Because the real goal of gardening isn't only about feeding crops for the next harvest. It's about building soil that never stops feeding life. Soil that will keep giving long after the season has passed. So the next time you empty a compost bucket or clear away trimmings, pause for a moment. In those scraps lies the same potential that sustained entire civilizations long before us. And if the people of the Amazon could do it with broken pottery and fish bones, then with today's tools and knowledge, imagine what we can create. The soil of tomorrow truly begins with what you choose to do today.